Ettling it is one among various hydration products forming in the uh, in the concrete. So if you as it, by basically if you put a small piece of concrete under a microscope, you will see so many hydrates, so many hydrates in the, so many different shapes and uh, sizes. Ettling it is one among them. Ettling it is uh, technically calcium uh, sulfo aluminate hydrate. It has this uh, complex uh, uh, formula here, and uh, it's basically appear as a uh, needle needle like structures in concrete. So here you can see it appears like a long needles, and uh, in concrete in the right picture you can see it actually dyed. So don't get confused with the color of the image here. So basically to uh, demonstrate co within concrete how ettringates are present in the uh, in the system. So. This concrete, this ettringate is actually forms in concrete in a, in a normal ambient condition is before the concrete gets hardened, which is like roughly between zero to 24 hours. That's the time when this uh, ettringate forms in the concrete. But as we see in the precast production, there is a high heat curing temperature. Because of the high heat curing temperature, this process of ettringate precipitation in the concrete is getting altered. How it's get altered, you will see here. So basically, ettering it forms in the system. is so actually, when it's subjected to high elevated temperature, what happens is the cement also contains uh, alkalis, uh, which is like potassium and sodium uh, oxides in, in cement. That uh, alkalis, which will, uh, you know, the, their dissolution into the pore solution will get drastically increased. And so this um, elevated temperature and uh, high alkali, alkali content in the, in the cemetery system, what we'll do is the high temperature will actually dehydrate the ettringate. As we saw here in the ettringate chemical formula, it contains a lot of water in it. This water will get dehydrated from the structure of ettringite. And so what will happen and then uh, the high alkalis in the in, in the cement system, what it will do is it will dissolve the uh, or decompose the ettringate uh, into sulfates and monosulfate into the cement system. So monosulfate uh, is an another hydrate which forms in concrete under um, even in, in the normal condition this will form, but uh, in, in case of high uh, heat temperature curing, this will form more rather than the ettringate. So this leaves lot of sulfates in the uh, sulfate ions in the uh, uh, um, in the SOTC system. So we can see here some uh, black dots which is re uh, graphically uh, represents the monosulfates in the SOTC system. So the, during the service time concrete will be in the ambient temperature and when there is enough moisture is available in the surroundings the uh, the alkalis in the uh, concrete tend to leach out from the from the cementitia system. In those conditions, what will happen is this monosulfate will react with this mono I mean sulfate ions in the system and precipitate ettringate back into the system. So this ettringate precipitation is happening actually happening in a hardened concrete which is already in service. So there is no enough room for the ettringate to get precipitate, and also ettringate is a large volume occupying uh, occupying uh, hydrate. Professor uh, uh, Wood actually showed uh, you a uh, lot of expansion graphs in the external sulfate attack. So which basically uh, says like when ettering it happens in uh, in a hard and symmetry system in laboratory, uh, laboratory uh, specimens, it will expand because it's unrestrained environment. Whereas in the real life concrete, when uh, something like this, any, uh, any um, uh, hydrates, which is volume occupying tendency hydrates, forms in a hardened environment, it will lead to cracks. For what other analogous examples that we can see here is like salt precipitation. If you see, uh, or, or uh, water getting freezed into small spores, those times what happened because of the large uh, volume occupancy tendency of so any salts precipitation or water getting freezed, I mean, transferring from a liquid state to a hardened state into a, in a small force, 
it may lead to cracks or expansion. Similarly, this is also a kind of precipitation occurring in concrete, which may lead to uh, which may lead to cracks in the system. So here we can see, in normal uh, situation, what we can see here is is the uh, interface between cement cement paste and uh, aggregate. So if if DEF is occurring in heat cured concrete, what will happen is the etching edge will get precipitated along with along the paste and uh, aggregate interface, and this will actually create cracks, and um, you know makes the microstructure weaker. Once it get become the microstructure become weaker, it will leads to all sort of uh, all sort of uh, durability issues.